Hello, friends. Let's get started with today's news updates. In the next few minutes, we'll unravel the today's top 50 USA news headlines. U.S. border officials are closing a remote Arizona crossing because of overwhelming migrant arrivals. Five senators ask Biden to impose China travel ban after respiratory illness cases. National Weather Service issues flood watch for NW Oregon. GOP tensions run high after House vote to expel George Santos. Ukrainian spy agency stages train explosions on a Russian railroad in Siberia. Ukrainian media say Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador announces 20% hike in Mexico's minimum wage. Tesla's Cybertruck feels like an SUV. Price, lower driving range upsets some. Putin orders Russian military to add 170,000 troops for a total of about 1.32 million. South Korea launches its first spy satellite into space a week after North Korea. Japan expresses concern over continued U.S. Osprey flights. At Climate Summit, Turkey, South Africa hit out at Israel over Gaza war. At Israeli rave site attacked by Hamas, DJs play music to honor the dead and missing. Oregon female athletes file title neat lawsuit against school, citing unfair treatment. Nick star Mitchell Robinson moves in former high school basketball coach after wife's death. Walmart will not be advertising on social platform X. House Republicans anticipate vote to formalize Biden impeachment inquiry soon. Washington holds off Oregon to win final Pac-12 championship, all but secure college football playoff spot. Democrat denounces political intimidation and violence after home, vandalized with call for ceasefire in Israel, Gaza. Federal appeals court orders Texas to remove controversial border buoys from Rio Grande. Judge denies two of Trump's motions to dismiss his federal election interference case. Israel Hamas war live updates. Israeli airstrikes pound southern Gaza overnight. One dead, four injured in Las Vegas, shooting of homeless police. Tyreek Hill says he will pay wages of cameraman suspended for being part of his touchdown celebration. Kamala Harris set to attend Global Climate Conference in Dubai. Judge rejects Trump's motion to dismiss 2020 federal election interference case, yes. A federal judge in Washington, D.C. on Friday rejected an attempt by former President Donald Trump to dismiss the special counsel's 2020 election interference case against him on the grounds of presidential immunity. Judge Tanya Chutkin ruled Trump cannot be shielded from criminal prosecution after leaving office for alleged conduct during his time in office. The former president argued special counsel Jack Smith's four charges should be dropped on the basis that presidents cannot be charged with a crime. Whatever immunities a sitting president may enjoy, the United States has only one chief executive at a time, and that position does not confer a lifelong get-out-of-jail-free pass. Chutkin wrote late Friday in a lengthy opinion, spurning Trump's arguments on historical, constitutional, and legal grounds. Trump is charged with four federal counts in this case, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S., stemming from his alleged effort to overturn the results 